her way to becoming the next Miss Chinatown. A few years from now, anyway, Thea Zhang showed her skills on our morning show today, right here where I'm standing. She was amazing. She did great. This year's Miss Chinatown was crowned tonight at Union Square, also ahead of tomorrow's big Chinese New Year parade. And Andrea Nakano shows us businesses in the area are ready to fire up their registers for the Year of the Dragon. Streets are going to be closed and it's going to be packed in San Francisco for the Lunar New Year Parade. It's going to be a big celebration, but many of the shops in this area are looking forward to the extra traffic to bring in business. And then, uh, some Chinese Ray Tam is a bartender at the world famous Lipo Lounge in Chinatown. We're famous for the Chinese Mai Tai. This particular drink was highlighted on an episode of Anthony Bourdain's show, and now people from all over the world come here to order this cocktail. Light rum, dark rum, and uh, 151. And then after that, um, I'll be adding Mai Tai and pineapple juice. Tam says he's already noticed business picking up the last couple of days. The Lunar New Year festivities have already brought in more customers. It helps me a lot because overall there's more people coming in. Um, they come to the bar so they can try the Mai Tais. It also has to help with the culture in Chinatown too. Helps business a lot. In Union Square, the annual Miss Chinatown pageant was being held. This event has been held for 66 years. One of the co-chairs of the event is Chelsea Hung, a San Francisco native that won the crown in 2016. It was just so much nerves, um, but really, it was truly rewarding. Just all the hard work that each contestant and myself have put into this. As crews put the final touches on setting up for the parade, many are hoping this is one of the most attended parades in its history. With inflation, some customers are holding on tighter to their wallets. Wallets, something Tam is hoping will not be the case this weekend. Tips have a lot because it's 90% of my income. Yeah, yeah, it helps a lot. The community is looking forward to welcoming in the Year of the Dragon, a symbol of power and strength. The parade will feature a brand new 288 foot dragon that will make its debut Saturday. <laughs> Tomorrow's parade starts at 515 at 2nd and Market before moving through Union Square into Chinatown.